Hello and welcome back once again. I'm the Arrogant Madman and this is Hotline Miami 2 Fumble Through. And um, yeah, we left off, I think, with um, uh, the rat dude. I forgot his name. And uh, now look, we're, we're with the thug and his boss. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you for watching. Um, you wanted to see me, boss? Yeah, we got things to do tonight. Like what? You know, the strip club on the 77th is opening up tomorrow. So? The Colombians, they own the place. They're having an opening party tonight. VIPs only. Ooh, fancy. How'd you figure that out? <laughs> How do you think they invited me? Bring your guns. We're gonna make sure they have a fun party. You wanna start a war with the Colombians? Is that really a good idea? They got a lot of more people than we do. After my father died, they went in and stole our territory, our business. You think I'm gonna let that slide? Is this really a good time for it? There's not gonna be a better time. While we wait, they keep expanding. Now who's the boss here? You or me? You got any more objections? You're the boss. I do whatever you tell me to. All right, then let's go. So it's, it's like weird to me when I think about it, because <coughs> that that uh this dude is like never, I mean never involved in any of the levels, and that just kind of drives me crazy because it just doesn't make any sense to me. Like why tell him to bring guns and he can't go? <laughs> this makes sense. Okay, so we got three choices. We can either do the bodyguard, which is a road dodge, plus a sword. Uh, dirty hands, which is killing without weapons. <coughs> Another one is uh, guns. Our guns. So, I think I'm going to go with the road dodge this time. I think that's a pretty good idea, to be honest. Too bad we don't have any knives. I think that would be cool. All right, we're doing pretty good so far. Kind of happy about that. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, the road died. Saved me from the first few bullets. It didn't help me with the next couple though. Ooh. <laughs> like, look at this unbelievable range with the sword. It's awesome. All right, all right, all right. So let's see what we can get through here this time. Okay. <laughs> oh, man, that one shot. That's all it takes. Huh? It always takes just that one shot. I wonder if I should switch my weapons or not. Um, I probably should, but I'm not sure. <coughs> um... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't mind the sword though. Oh no, that was bad. Why did I do that? I remember this mission always been tough. If some tell me with this little music so loud, I'm not even gonna be able to put this up here without getting some type of copyright claim. I'm sure I will. <laughs> They're like, you should have made your own music. Oh, why did I do that? Anyway, we'll hope everybody's doing fine. Like, today it was raining. Like, all day. And it was just horrible. I had to walk to class. And, I don't know, it was just annoying. I mean, it wasn't bad or anything, but... I mean, the main reason why I say that because I bought that new umbrella. So, I mean, if it wasn't for that, then I would say it was pretty bad right now. Whew! <laughs> That roll saved my life. Um, let's get a gun. Oh, yeah. We'll come back for the uh, sword after we come to this place. Because I always go through here with a gun. And the main reason why is because of that. There we go. So now we can get our sword back.
There we go. Let's see if we can be smart about this. Hopefully we can. Alright, so the big guy's gonna be coming soon. Let's hide from him. Hope he don't see us. Uh... Ah, shoot. Why do that? Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> that was terrible. That's all I can say about that. Oh, the tape we got in the way. Oop. Ah. I think this mission would have been more interesting if you actually got to uh, come into the strip club when the actual workers are here and the actual regular people. Most missions, you always end up killing just the, you know, just, just the bad guys. But I mean, come on, how often are there like not any customers at a place of business? And I'm like, it can always, it can always have a new opening every time. You know, not every place is just opening. It just makes more sense that it's civilians around. Oh man, that one shot with that pistol. Always rough. Oh man. Okay. There we go. Maybe yeah, we should have that big guy there. Let's see if we can get the gun out. I might be able to shoot him. Okay. That guy. Sort that. There we go. So I think we're looking up. Pretty good, actually. Yeah, yeah. I think we're doing pretty good. So, yeah. Hopefully, when we keep raining like it did today, um, I remember it was supposed to rain um, Valentine's Day, and it did. It really did. I mean, no breaks there. So, let's see what else is gonna kill us. Okay, I'm glad that dude did that because we should have died. Let's see if we can get a gun and shoot him. Okay, open this up. There we go. So I remember I was playing this mission on, uh, what was it, hard mode. It was frustrating. <laughs> it's frustrating. I think I did uh, the, uh, the no weapons. Because I think that's the easiest way to go. We sure did a number on those people. <laughs> Calls for a celebration, don't you think? I don't know, boss. You don't know? What do you mean? What is that supposed to mean? I think I'm gonna head back home. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Why is that? You got all you need right here, don't you? I gotta get home to my girlfriend. It's been a long day, you know. Boy, that girl sure done a number on you, huh? <laughs> You know, a real man doesn't need to rely on women to live his life. The minute you get attached to anyone, <laughs> you're done. Besides, that girl of yours is way too good for you. One day, she'll come to her senses, you know. Well, that's none of my business. Go on home, if that's what you want. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, before you go, I left a little something on you um, for you on the desk outside. Buy your girl something nice, will you? Now, I think I think that's the weird thing for these uh, I don't know, organizations. I guess you could say. Is it? I don't know. I, I mean, I, I guess it, I guess it does work on that family mentality that um, you know, you're part of a a group or family. Everybody has their own personal opinion about what they think you should be doing. <coughs> I mean, that would have seemed like. All right, boys, this is it. Tonight we'll be rich. We can do anything we want. The Colombians will have nothing left. They'll learn to fear us. Toast to our new lives as kings of the street. And I, I like how he did this um, after his homeboy wanted to leave. And I think if he actually kept them around and... This probably would have went differently. Oh, cool! We actually got the trophy for reading all the uh, the papers. I didn't. I never even got that before. The recent massacres are believed to be connected to organized crime. Police fear we might be facing another violent drug war. Oh uh, well. Mm, 
Maybe. Oh, <laughs> look at him. He just went through the wall. I guess we're not taking a Thunderbird this time. Blood money. Man, it reminds me of Hitman. I used to miss watching Hitman. Like, for real. Um. Okay, so we got our crew here in our black van. And a couple bags, I'm sure, full of guns, most likely. Um, oh, is that somebody just walking around? I think somebody just walking around. <laughs> okay, let's see what we can get into. Don't worry, we're just random Russian dudes in white suits, matching clothing, criminal backgrounds, and unfriendly faces, and carrying a bag. We're not doing anything dangerous. <laughs> ah, so make oh, Ooh. it made me laugh. Keep thinking about it because these are like the, I think traditional police because they carry a lot of revolvers often. And like back in the past, this is what they really carried a lot. <coughs> oh, excuse me. It's like six shot revolvers, mostly in like the 70s and parts of the 80s. But then criminals started getting better weapons, so then police officers start carrying better weapons. And that's pretty much what happened. Oh. Hey, you putting it work with this shotgun. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Boo! Yeah, there we go. I think we're doing pretty good. Now, when you're using this little pea shooter, I find it really annoying. You to keep your shots lined up with it. Ooh. Ah! Man! I mean, I did this way easier on the hard mode, but anyway. Like, I would think that they would put up some kind of, a, I mean, put turn on some type of alarm. I mean, I guess it's supposed to be going off. It's implied that it was going off. <laughs> ah. <coughs> I don't think I'm, I'm really focusing like I should be focusing. Yeah, like that. <laughs> it's probably a good example of doing that. Okay. I don't know if he even had enough bullets, but not taking a chance. I don't know, some reason this kind of reminds me of Payday. If you have never played Payday, please play Payday. It is incredible amounts of fun. I had to play for the channel one time. That'd be great. Cause I love Payday. <laughs> All right, let's see. If we can take care of these last few people, and then we should be able to get up out of here. It's funny because this game to me doesn't work well when you're in areas that are too big. <coughs> because you simply just can't see. I mean. That is a most definite problem. Oh, <laughs> he actually shot somebody, and it, it, <laughs> I'm surprised that even happened. That like never happens because he just shoots in the same direction, no matter if anyone's there or not. So I'm glad somebody walked into his ring. Oh, shoot. Uh oh, that's not good at all. Okay, don't you dare. Okay. Oh man. See, so like that, you can't see. You can't see that. So you just kind of guessing. That's why this level sucks. Okay. 
Looks like it's going okay. Oh shoot, here we go. Shotgun. Alright, with his pretend I'm helping. He ain't helping nobody. You're a loser. I'm glad you have a gun. Gotcha. And okay, I think there's only one left. There we go. <laughs> oh shoot, I was just about to shoot him. <laughs> um let me see. There, got it. That should just save all the security doors. Okay, cool. I guess we should be able to get further into this place. Oh, uh, look, another huge, huge room with a thousand windows. Uh. Stuck in this stupid wall. Oh man, come on. Uh, take that. Okay. Alright, it like it's going pretty well. Hopefully. Should be able to get this guy. Okay. Not oh, shoot. Empty. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, okay. That's good. I hate the revolver though. It's not very accurate. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, can't wait till I start feeling better. <laughs> See, look, look how accurate that was. Well. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, homeboy got shot. Father? What What are you doing here? I'm not here. You know that. Yes, I know. Then why are you, why are you here? I, I don't know. I want to make you proud. Such things don't matter. I can see you haven't changed. You're just like me. You won't get in until it's already too late. Your father's right. You don't get it, do you? Not that it matters anymore. It's all the same in the end. And there's nothing you can do about that, is there? But father... He already told you. He's not here anymore. In fact, neither are you. Oh, whoa, whoa, how? What? I didn't rob the bank? So what, I got shot to pieces for no reason? Well, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. When she woke up earlier. So now we'll be playing Pardo. Detective Pardo. Mr. Uh, Murderer. Because I know he is. <laughs> What do we have here, Johnson? Looks like your purpose been added again. This one got quite the treatment. He left another message. You have to stop them. I don't want to take any more innocent lives. Whoever did this must be completely out of his mind. He's a whack job, all right? This city seems to be full of them. Did he leave any other clues behind? She's gonna be on my butt with all the press this will get. Showcase in a couple of prints. Gotta be hard to see if they match the victim given the state he's in. <clears throat> Might find more when uh, when we do a more thorough uh, uh, inspection of the place. 
Well, I hope you do find something not to put any pressure on you guys, but my job's on the line on this one. We'll do our best, sir. All right, don't think I'll be of much use here. I'm pretty beat. I'm heading home to catch some sleep. Let me know if you, um, what you find tomorrow. Will do, sir. Me and my mud and chops will do. Um, let's see what else I can kind of get into. <coughs> okay. Yeah. I don't know. For me, to take the bar, I yeah, I don't trust him. Look at his face. He had a funny face. <laughs> hey, 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 listen up, listen up, everybody, please, kids and everybody. If you know somebody with a funny face, don't you dare trust them. <laughs> it's funny. It's terrible to think that. Uh oh, can't find it. Can't find what? <laughs> what are you looking for crazy? I'm freaking maniac. Hey, is it, what is he even looking for? What? Oops, sideways crab walking. 23rd scene caught. Uh oh, move walking, move walking. Uh, see what we can get in. What's this? Okay. Um. Looking for this? <laughs> that little thing was creepy. What are you doing here? This is a crime scene. Well, you know what they say. Murderers always return to the scene of the crime. I guess there must be some truth to that, huh? Right. Who are you? You don't recognize me? We're related. By blood, aren't we? You can think of me as your son. You created me after all. Give me back my gun, creep. You want it, huh? How about a hug instead? No, I don't want a hug. Get off me. Oh, his face shattered. <laughs> Give my gun back. Give my gun. I can't get my gun. No, oh, whatever. What the? There you are. Hop, hop on in. <coughs> Your next scene is up, so step on it. Okay, so is it like a golf cart? What is this, a movie set? You're a disgrace. I've never heard of anything like this before. Normally, I'll never offer any kindness to a person such as you or yourself. And since you are a police officer, I would not give you a choice. Turn yourself in and confess your crimes. Maybe they'll go easy on you. If you don't, I have several officers waiting outside to arrest you. Sir, I'm not sure what you're talking about here. What is it? you think I've done. Think, I have a pile of evidence here against you. Ballistics reports, fingerprints, witness st statements. To think a police officer would be the uh, Miami mutilator. You made me sick. Now hand me your badge. I'll have one of our officers take your confessional. Sir, there must be s uh, some mistake. Someone must have set me up. I, I'll prove it to you. If you just let me go, okay? You're not going anywhere, Bardo. Don't make this any harder than it already is. Sorry, sir. You had to take me by force. Yeah, what you gonna do about it? Yeah, come on. Get a close-up on my face. Yeah. Anyway, so so next time we're gonna go ahead and uh, jump back into the game again. But at a later time, I'm the Arrogant Madman. You're watching the 2 H Street channel. This is Highlight Miami Fumble Through. So please, if you like the video, please like it. If you dislike, dislike. Leave a comment if you want to and subscribe. You know where it's at. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.